Hello everyone, uh, thank you for joining me from wherever you are and uh, whenever you are as well uh, because these videos can be viewed at any time. So this is being recorded on Friday the 17th of June and the very mention of that date should remind us that uh, the summer is upon us and the summer holidays are certainly upon us as well. The schools finish up uh, next week sometime and uh, well then in July and August a lot of us try to get away for a break um, either further afield or just take it a bit easier at home or take the opportunity to visit family and friends. So the whole idea is to get a break and to get refreshed and then to come back raring to go whether it's the Lord's service or uh, whatever occupies you during the rest of the year. Now although it is summer and uh, it's a more relaxed time of the year uh, the work of the church and the work of the Lord continues and I'd just uh, like to remind you of what is uh, still going on, uh, what will happen during the summer as well and things that you can be involved in, things that you can remember, things that you can pray about etc etc. Um, the uh, summer uh, Bible schools and Bible clubs that usually run during the holidays. Those haven't been available for the last couple of years. Thankfully, an awful lot of them are re-emerging. Uh, so uh, can you please remember to uh, pray for all those churches and uh, the Scripture Union and other organisations that are running uh, outreach and programmes for the children during the summer. But uh, as well as that, on a, on a wider uh, theme, uh, we, of course, know that the uh, war in Ukraine um, continues and uh, we thank you again for a very generous um, donation from a lot of you uh, to go towards the uh, relief and the aid that's being supplied to the Ukraine. Now, um, there was a great initial response for that. And that was great and we're very thankful for that. But um, the need still goes on, as your um, news reports and television screens and so forth will tell you. Uh, there's still a tremendous need, there's still a tremendous work going on. Uh, and a lot of Christian organisations and charities are involved in that work. The ones that we are supporting are the SGA, the Slavic Gospel Association, as well as BMS, our own Baptist Missionary Society. So that's where our financial aid is going to and uh, it's being used it's uh, well in a wonderful way and it's uh, very much appreciated uh, by all those who receive uh, those funds. So can I just remind you that the need goes on and there's still uh, the opportunity to give um, through the church to SGA or BMS. Uh, all you have to do is uh, send the money through, put it in an envelope, mark it clearly for Ukraine and we will see that it's uh, gathered up and it goes to the correct destinations. So um, I don't want you to forget uh, or think that just the aid that went out was a one-off. Uh, that is continuing to be gathered and sent out. There's still a great need so please remember that that work goes on as well. Now because of the um, the trouble in Ukraine it has overshadowed um, certain things. And one of the things that have been pushed into the background, if you like, um, are our poor asylum seekers. Uh, we have um, 50 or 60 asylum seekers uh, in the Cladden Hotel in Falkirk. They've been there for quite some time now and they still need our help. They still need our support. And um, that's being overshadowed by what's going on uh, in Ukraine. But uh, please remember them in your prayers. Uh, remember also that as a church, we're still collecting toiletries. We're still um, uh, collecting um, shower gels and shampoos and soaps and shaving equipment and things like that, deodorants. Uh, please continue to bring those down to church, drop them into the receptacle that's there. Uh, again, they'll be gathered up and they'll be taken down to the Cladden Hotel and given directly to uh, the young men down there and pray that their uh, applications for asylum will indeed be uh, processed quickly and indeed granted in all those cases um, that need them. So um, the work and the aid continues to be gathered and go on to Ukraine. The work with the asylum seekers 
continues as well. If you want to get involved and face to face personally with them, uh, there's opportunities to do that every Saturday morning, uh, Saturday afternoon as well. Uh, there's things planned down at the hotel and it's good to get involved and get alongside, uh, showing a bit of Christian love and uh, uh, help to, to those guys in a very practical way. Uh, can I also remind you of the, the food bank? Uh, we're still collecting for the food bank as well. Uh, again, you can bring down bits and pieces, um, long life uh, food, uh, place it in the receptacle in the church uh, porch and uh, we'll see that that gets delivered to the food bank as well. Uh, the food bank is getting increasingly busy. Uh, more demand on the food bank because of the cost of living increase. Uh, so uh, there's more uh, help needed than ever for donations to the food bank. So again, maybe that's something you can think about when you're buying your groceries. Um, you don't have to buy a whole pile of stuff, but just an extra tin of this, an extra packet of that, uh, slip it into your trolley um, and bring that down to the church of a Sunday morning or Sunday evening and just drop it into the respective um, container there. And of course, because of the cost of living increase, uh, there's also an increased demand for the work of CAP, CAP, Christians Against Poverty. So again, uh, can we ask that you pray for that work, uh, pray for Fiona and her team as they try to help as many people as possible, as quickly as possible. Um, so the work of CAP goes on over the summer period as well. So although some things get arrest, other things are increasingly busy. So I remind you of that as well. The other thing I'd like to remind you of uh, concerns the um, the ELF, the Falkirk Evangelical Leaders Forum, a representative of uh, evangelical churches in this particular area, uh, Larbert, Stenhouse, Muir, uh, Falkirk and uh, the surrounding district. Um, I, I don't want to go into a lot of details, friends, but uh, can I just say that there are more than a few uh, churches uh, in this area and well, the way it was described to me, the way we talked about it just this week, was they're in a state of flux. Okay, uh, there's a lot of toing and froing. There's a lot of um, movement between churches. Uh, there's a lot of issues need to be addressed and resolved. Um, we're coming out of COVID. Uh, things aren't just the way they used to be, and people are getting reorganised. Um, and uh, well, they're not quite settled yet in what they want, where they're going, how they're worshipping, etc, etc. So for the churches in this area in particular, but churches generally, uh, this isn't just a local phenomenon, this is something that churches all over the country and beyond are having to wrestle with. Uh, so just pray that uh, things settle down and uh, this movement and um, wee bit of dis dissatisfaction, etc, etc. Uh, let's just pray that that uh, sort of dissipates and things settle down and the going gets a little bit easier. So um, those are just a few things that I can remind you of. Uh, there are plenty of other things going on. Um, there's uh, still an open Sunday school in in, uh, in Larbert, in Larbert Baptist Church. Um, the Sunday school teachers, etc., they get a rest, but there's still something for the boys and girls, the young ones, primary school age. There's something um, each week for them and that needs to be organised as well. So there's a lot going on and if you can volunteer, if you can help for any of these things or give aid in any way to any of these things, uh, well then that will be wonderful. Can I just remind you of them uh, again? Uh, there's aid going, financial aid being collected and going to Ukraine. Uh, there's aid going to the asylum seekers, uh, practical aid, um, toiletries and... Um, stuff like that. Uh, the food bank, uh, under increasing demand, uh, they need donations as well to keep coming in. Um, the CAP, Christians Against Poverty, remember them in your prayers as well. Uh, ELF, the uh, churches in the area, just pray generally that things uh, will get better and better as, <clears throat> as we come and leave COVID behind, hopefully. 
A little plug as well for the uh, the street pastors. Uh, we've lost a few members from our team. We are training up um, some other members. We're on a wee bit of a recruitment drive at the moment. That doesn't seem to be too successful. Uh, but if you don't want to get involved practically, uh, we also need prayer partners. So if that's something that you think you could do, um, well then, that will be wonderful as well. Let me know and uh, I'll tell you how you can get involved there as well. Uh, the only other thing I want to tell you is, and um, this is a wee reminder too, that perhaps, now not everybody's like this, uh, but perhaps you have a little bit more time over the summer or you could make a little bit more time. Uh, and it's a good opportunity to get caught up in some of your reading. So if you're not reading a good Christian book, uh, perhaps uh, uh, Christian history or a Christian biography or uh, a wee bit of theology. Uh, this is the ideal time of the year to to tackle something new. So please consider your reading programme, your Christian reading programme uh, over the summer period. It would be wonderful if you could um, be uh, enthusiastic, you could be encouraged um, by doing some Christian reading. I, I'm always a wee bit um, a wee bit concerned when people tell me, well, you know, Pastor, I'm not really a reader. Uh, I don't really read a lot. Uh, we, please just be careful if you say that or you think like that, because remember, the Bible is a book. And if you're telling me you don't read books, does that mean you don't read your Bible? Uh, if you're telling me you find reading difficult, does that mean you're finding reading the Bible difficult? Um... Uh, friends, if you can read your Bible, uh, you'll be able to read other forms of Christian literature as well. So can I encourage you to do that? Christian bookshops are having a very hard time at the moment as the uh, as the demand for Christian literature uh, diminishes rather alarmingly. So please, um, there's nothing like a good Christian book to occupy you uh, during the evening. And uh, you could do an awful lot worse than just turn the TV off or go and find a quiet corner somewhere and uh, just sit for an hour and, uh, and, and read a bit of a book and it will do your heart good and it will encourage you as well. So uh, I think I'll stop there. Uh, I think I've reminded you of enough. I've given you a, a wee bit of a challenge as well regarding the reading. So I'll leave that with you. Um, ask you to keep safe. Look forward to the summer. Make sure you have a great summer yourself and make sure the good weather does what it's meant to do uh, for us all. It's meant to lift our spirits, uh, encourage us and um, refresh us uh, going forward. There is always something to be done for the Lord and there's always something we can get involved in. Maybe just in the summer it's a wee bit different from other times in the year. Okay, thank you for listening. Thank you for staying with me to the end, if that's what you've done. And I look forward to chatting to you again soon. Until that time comes, bye for now.